Grandma told me to pick that spot. Pretty good, huh? Anybody down in the sewers these days? Who's at the door? Is that the guy with my pills? No, it's not anyone with pills for you, darling, okay? I called that motherfucker three hours ago! This is my lovely wife, Autumn. She celebrates Christmas with vodka and muscle relaxers. And here, every day is Christmas. Wait, where the fuck are my kids? What do you mean, where are the kids? You're supposed to be watching them out back, Autumn. No! They were being watched by the babysitter! The babysitter quit four months ago when you threw up on her! Don't you fucking yell at me! Don't you excuse us a minute! Don't you ever embarrass me, Father? You're not dead! You're 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 I sure would make it worth your while. They're Simon, Amber, and Corn Wallace. Tell them their father wants them home right away. My babies! <laughs> Bring me my babies! <laughs> You're a fucking train wreck! Mm, I'm getting hungry down here. Well, what are we waiting for?
don't like being pushed around. Oh, come on! We can find those little shit nuggets. and a dingleberry in a sewer system.
hope we don't get in trouble for this. Not nice. Hey. It has. Wow, this is 
The zombies came for the tacos, that's my theory. I'm 
jedem Tag! Nice work! I will let you know of any updates on Manberpeg. Make sure to share the news on Facebook. I'm super serial. Keep an eye out for Manberpeg. I'll contact you on my internet when I pinpoint his exact location. Keep an eye out for Manberpeg. I'll contact you on my internet when... The zombies came for the tacos, that's my theory. They're gonna interview me for a piece on youth narcissism. I can't wait to read about me! Bandit waiting to ambush rich adventurers and steal their gold. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle! Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle! Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, yeah, right away! Right 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 Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle! Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yes! Yeah. 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 What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. 
I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. What was it like in there? Is your technology more advanced than ours? You seem like a pretty nice kid. I don't like this. Are you sure we can trust the girl? Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank! Guys, wait! Please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this! I don't think I like you very much. Hey, new kid. The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever... All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. 
She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me and tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Hey, hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Well, next to a real girl, that is. Hi, here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room. I'm sorry, your little friend. I'll wait right here. Don't forget about me. Restricted to physicians only. Hi, I'm Dr. Poon Lover. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. Ugh. Ugh. What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. Access granted. Thank you, Doctor.
Ah! Ah, damn it! Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the Peggy. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? Peggy is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? At Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! He's one of them! Ah! Tell people what you saw here today! Let's go! Quarantine the place! There's something crawling under the floor, sir! Cover Sector 6! Where are they? Nobody move! Oh, uh, what's going on? I, I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, Doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Doctor? Teehee? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! Oh, goodness! Christmas time is once a year. Phew. Every critter Ow, holds my balls! It dear. My balls! Every my balls! My, my favorite shopping small. malls! I'll close at five, Doctor! Christmas Can we please get this over so with quickly? To us all. It's once a year. Oh, that's it's cold! Christmas that's cold! Time. This is about and as wide as I can get, Doctor. <laughs> once a year. It's once a year. Okay, okay do it. I'm ready. Time. When we hear about how Christmas only comes once a year. Watch the balls! Oh god, it's snagged! Watch the balls! He did it! All right, so he is a real doctor. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now!
What the hell is that? Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh my god. I'm here for you, buddy. God damn it. Look at that little fella. Were those little babies yeah, sucking yeah. blood? Ah, shucks. When are we gonna catch a break? What are they? Man, those little babies are pissed off. They're killing us! Yeah, man, it's a holocaust out there. Babies are eating my brains!
Ciudades. That's it! That's it! The area is secure! Code green! It's not secure! Tell all units the outbreak has been contained! It's not contained! What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained! You, you don't understand! Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning! She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen! <laughs> Into the board of being sorry. Let's see how you like dealing with me. Hello, new kid. for your help. We can go see them again. All right then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. 
Just get these documents translated for us and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! Stay gold, new kid. Commander Douchebag, you were supposed to recruit the girls. What's the delay? What's this? Council, gather round. This must be something the new kid needs our help with. Thank fams on sabi unan vartam. What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north. Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you'll have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Bobinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. We elves craft the finest shit in the land. Thank you. 